Hello everyone, this is Chris with Secret Fab. Today we are going to do an installation of a vinyl piece that goes over your glove box in your 2022 GR86 or Subaru BRZ. Um, I already have this one installed. I was making sure that the template was correct and it looks great. There were a bunch of scratches on this. I don't know if they're kind of there. Oh yeah, you see those? It's right there. Um, this has only been on here maybe 12 hours, so easy to take off. Uh, the material, the adhesive on it, builds a bigger bond over time. Uh, it's activated by heat and pressure. Right now it's about 75 degrees out here. It's really humid. So I'm going to clean this off, but let me do that first. I want to use interior cleaner, ideally that doesn't leave any residue on the material. We don't want to use armor. That will not help with bonding. So most of the scratches were able to come off. Some of them are a little deeper, and that's what happens with uh, vehicles these days um, in this category where you're using uh, soft plastics. Um, it, they're soft plastics. They're just easy to scratch. So this stuff is a lot more uh, scratch resistant. Um, making sure that's dry. So I like to install this between 70 to 80 degrees. If it's hotter than that, I try to make it cooler. I'll get inside the vehicle, turn on the AC, uh, do it in the shade if possible. If it's colder, we want to make sure the vehicle is nice and warm, that the uh, vinyl is nice and warm. Again, bring in the temperature up to that 70 to 80 uh, degree range. Um, it gets so hot around here, why not do it with your AC on? We are in Florida. Just, again, feeling, making sure that's uh, as dry as it possibly can be. So we've got this big, 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 big template. Uh, here, let me take this off. I mean, this guy is, this guy's pretty big. I'm pushing my seat back as far as I can. You can take this off uh, if you remove the little kind of gas strut they have on the side and then just pull the clips out. I'm sure this would come right off, but I'm going to install this on the vehicle because I think a lot of people will do that, do it that way. So we're trying to align this material up with a corner. I always start on a corner or something I can kind of recognize the curve. If you start right in the middle, there's it's almost impossible to get your alignment right. I want to make sure this is even. This material does stretch a bit. It can work for you or against you. If you stretch it too much, you will have extra material hanging around and you won't have any place for that material to go. And often that happens when it's warm. It becomes really easy to stretch the material. The way the adhesive works on this material is it is heat and pressure activated. So you kind of got to have both. Because it's so humid, and I sprayed that cleaner on here. That's why it's not sticking that well. So as the day goes on, it gets hotter. I will come back, put pressure, put heat into this. So I just kind of aligned it over the top and pushed it all the way over so I could get to that other corner. You can keep a heat gun or hair dryer around. That will speed up the process and then you don't have to wait for the sun to kind of come out and bake this. So now I've got this top aligned. I'm going to start right down the middle. Push down just a little bit and then I'll push back out to one side. Push back out to the other. Then I'll go down a little bit more. Do the same, making sure we don't bunch up anywhere. You're, this does have a slight curve to it, so you're pushing outwards on there, and that'll help it not bunch up, not develop creases. Just work your way out from the middle. And then I'm going to go all the way up to the latch push down right there, push out, and 
if you need to, stretch it towards that edge to make sure you're getting the desired coverage you want. Yesterday when I did this installation, it was much warmer, much less humid. So your results always are different. Not the results so much as the, the kind of the, the little situations you find yourself in where it doesn't stick as much. That's because of the weather. Now I come to this part where I have the latch insert. So I'll get this down around the latch. Then we're going to push inward on the latch portion. Making sure it doesn't bunch up, doesn't crease down there. Down towards the middle and out to the sides. Down to the middle and out towards the sides. Making sure there's no hot bubbles in there. And since this edge is the most visible, I'm going to move this so I can look down there. A super weird angle because of the camera. Want all this material to come out to the side. If you have one of our felt tip squeegees, you can use that too. So I'm using this a wide area, my palm, to kind of stretch it over the edge. Because I don't want it to bunch up in any one particular place. The vinyl can go anywhere. Just can't bunch up. And that's really why I like doing these install videos. You can see every time I install this, and this is only the second time, I'm kind of faced with a different situation. Sometimes it's because of the environment. Sometimes it is because of the initial placement, which plays a huge role. But it gives me the opportunity to show you guys like a real life installation. See how I overcame certain challenges, like hanging out upside down right now like I am.
So any area where it's not going down, I'm probably able to work this out with a lot of pressure and stretching, but you guys can apply a little heat. And it'll probably stay down. I'm just pushing down really firmly. This material also has air egress channels, so bubbles don't really stay stuck underneath it, which of course is good. But just push all around, make sure everything is down, there's nothing No bubbles trapped anywhere. If you don't have access to a heat gun or hair dryer, wait for the sun to kind of beat on your car. Park it outside in the sun. Come back. Do the same thing. Just push down everywhere you can. Add pressure to that heat and you should be good to go. Now you are given a little glass piece for this area. It's actually really damp. It's so humid. I feel that the plastic is just damp. All right, thank you guys so much for your support. That's how it looks. How some of the other interior pieces that we've overlapped look. But please like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not already, and hit that bell notification icon for the latest and greatest things we are working on for the 2022 and up Subaru, BRZ, and Toyota GR86.